Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. You guys, I'm loving this. You, look, you've got a new love coming into your life, and somebody is so broken over this, okay? They're, like, dreading it. It's just giving me this feeling of dread. Yeah, and look, and you're moving forward. Uh, you've got new love coming in. You're about to be asked out on a date, collective. woo -hoo. Anyway... <laughs> Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for everything. You guys, all the awesome comments, thank you so much. I love you. You know, you just, you make my day. You do. Um, and uh, thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. I love how this reading is starting. <laughs> You're about to have a couple of people who are approaching you here. It looks like, okay, people are finding you sexy. Oh my gosh, are you sexy? You're strong, you're confident, and you're going for it. Okay, I feel like, um, yeah, you're about to have a lot of options around you. It, you um, now, these people coming forward, you could have up to four people that may want to approach you here. I feel like you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself and the energy that you're in that confidence that you're exuding that you're giving off it's attracting like a lot of people you may notice that you're being like stared at when you're out and about people want to be around your energy okay um yeah and no matter what it is that you're doing you're looking so good collective this is the sexiest queen in the deck okay that fiery energy, feisty energy, you're bold, you're confident, you're strong, you're gorgeous. And I look at, um, you've, got, you've got a page of wands, a page of pentacles. This is a date. This is a, somebody who wants to get to know you, okay? Somebody who's talking to you, right? Um, then you've got someone else coming in with a love offer or this feels like love bombing. And I feel like this is new love entering your, into your life. I'm probably the only reader out here who does this, but a lot of times I see this as someone new. And then out came the Ace of Cups with this. So this is definitely new love. Um, there's a person here that they don't want anyone else but you. Um, this could be someone in the public eye. They could be really well-liked in their community. Okay, I feel like this is the one who's about to ask you on a date. This could be a secret admirer because they already know that they want you. Okay, this is a soulmate connection here, but then you've got other people who want you too. Okay, and it's driving this person crazy. They could have even recently seen you out on a date or just talking to somebody else. It may not have even been a date. It, you could have gone to lunch with somebody that you work with, or you could have just been having a conversation with someone while you're out, you know, grocery shopping or whatever. Um, this person has seen this, or they just know. They know that you've got other people around you, other people that want you. This is somebody who wants to ruin any new connection that you may get. They want to interfere they could have interfered in connections with you before um, and tried to get people to leave you behind. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is like... It's, it's causing this person so much paranoia. Huh? Like they're really paranoid. They're really stressed out. This is a lot of stress. They're stressed the F out over you. They keep watching you. They're watching what you're doing. They're trying to find out who you're talking to. If you have anything, any kind of platform on the internet, so it could be just social media. It could be uh, maybe you have your own website or maybe you have some kind of, you know, like it could be a YouTube channel, something like that. Okay, this person's watching you. They're looking. They're not just watching what you're doing. They're looking at the comments. Okay, they're looking at the comment section to see who's talking to you. They want to find out who this is that you're spending all your time with. 
okay, or that you're dating so that they can get in the middle of it and wreck it, okay? So it's really important right now that you try to keep your moves hidden. Move in silence, okay? But I feel like, um, yeah, you've got a lot of people that want to date you. Ooh, people competing for you. And I'm really getting the sense that this person knows they'll have to compete as well if they want you. You're like the treasure. You're the treasure here. You're the prize, okay? And there's like a major competition. There could be up to five people that want to be with you. You could be extremely abundant right now as well, very successful, making good money. Yeah, they don't like the thought of having to compete. I feel like this person knows they're going to have to fight for you or they want to fight for you. Okay? Or it's making them the thought of you being loved on by somebody else makes this person want to fight someone. Okay? They are so stressed out over you being with someone else, yeah, they don't want to let you go. This person realizes, too, if they were to get, you know, um, get back with you again, they would have to be loyal. They would have to be dedicated. They would have to be ten toes down, and they would have to be committed to this connection, okay? And this person, they may not be ready to do that yet, you know? Um, I, I'm just feeling like they're holding back here. Like they don't, they're not ready to give you a full-on commitment, but that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. In order to get back with you, they would have to commit. And they're just, I feel like that makes this person nervous. But yet at the same time, they don't want anyone else with you. And they can't have their cake and eat it too. They can't. Okay. Yep, using your intuition. You're using your intuition with everyone who approaches you. I kind of get the sense, though, that you're, you know, you're having fun meeting new people. You're starting to see, I feel like you're starting to see how much of a magnet you are because um, you're attracting so many people here. You're so sexy in the energy that you're in. You are extremely sexy, okay? everybody wants to be with you right now <laughs> um, it's like all these people are coming out of the woodwork here so you're gonna have to use your discernment this person from your past here who hates the fact that you've got love options now they could be watching tarot card reading like uh, out here on YouTube one right after another okay obsessively watching tarot that could be what this is too trying to get answers on you, trying to find out maybe who it is that you're dating or um, how many people are interested in you or they're trying to get information about you any way that they can, okay? <laughs> but you've got so many people who want you right now, you may not even be aware of it, you know? The high priestess, if you're in high priestess energy here, you're um, you're focused on a spiritual path, you know, and um, and with the Queen of Pentacles, you're the busiest queen in the deck as well. And you've got a lot of things that you're responsible for. You're just, you're not really paying attention to all, like, how many people actually want to be with you right now. I, you may not even notice it. Yeah, this is giving this person a major tower moment. Oh, my goodness. Whatever they're finding out about you, it's giving them a crashing tower moment. This is them being triggered all over the place. Like, for real. <laughs> they're triggered all over by whatever you're doing. This person, I just picked up, somebody is on a dating site. They could be on a dating, the same dating site you're on under, like, a fake profile. And watching, like, how many people 
are contacting you or how many people are interested in you, it's driving this person crazy. If you're on a dating site, they're going nutty over this, okay? Yeah, now they want to come in and apologize. I'm so sorry for breaking your heart. Um, I'm, I, was a, I was a user. I knew that I was doing it. I had in and out energy. I'm so sorry for, you know, um, making you be tortured over this, okay, and turning my back on you. I feel like you're, you're like, I've had enough, man. You're in this energy where you're just moving on. This is also you being in the public eye. I feel like this person is going to try to contact you on some kind of social media platform and tell you this, okay? I, I mean, after everything they've done, their little apology seems, seems like it's not going to matter that much. I feel like you're having too much fun meeting new people, or you're about to, okay? This could already be happening or this is coming up very soon in the future. Okay, so take it how it resonates. They are so jealous. They are so envious. Oh my gosh, this person is like over the top jealous. Um, yeah, you really are not communicating with them anymore. I feel like you're looking for someone new. You're, um, you're ready for something new in your life. This person could also be jealous of how much money you make. This could also be them finding out you could be moving away as well. Maybe you purchased a new home or you got um, an upgraded apartment. You've got a lot of opportunities and options around you and this it's driving this person like crazy, crazy. I can't even describe it. They're very jumpy. Um, they're, they're feeling the pressure. They're panicky. They're frustrated. They're very angry. They're very jealous. They're so stressed out over you. But you're ready for new love here. Empress and the Minor Arcana on the bottom of the deck. You've got everything. You look at all of your abundance, your success. You're single right now, but that's all about to change, okay? It's all about to change. And you're putting yourself out there, you know? Having this new beginning, like you totally have your mojo back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You've got your groove back. And, um, and you're protecting yourself against this person from the past because they did put you through a lot of like, I mean, I feel like they... They really messed with your head. They broke your heart. I mean, they've hurt you in so many different ways here. And they turned their back for possibly years. Yeah, you're, I feel like you've lost interest in this person. And now you're moving forward. And boy, they cannot stand it. They cannot stand this. I'm telling you, you are triggering this person all over the place. <laughs> you are. Um, oh, geez, let's see what they want to say. What does this person want to say? I feel like they're trying to find out who it is that you're seeing. Is it true? I heard you were dating someone. <laughs> I cannot make it up. I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Unblock me. Unblock me. I miss you and I want to connect. Please unblock me literally or energetically so we can speak. I have a lot to say. Like, no, don't date anybody else. Spoiling you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. Yeah, they, they may want to spoil you, but they're afraid to commit. They're afraid to be, to, um, you know, they're afraid to offer their loyalty. They're afraid to vow their loyalty to you, okay? And it doesn't even have to be like a marriage. 
just them being loyal. They're, they just, they're afraid of a commitment. They're scared of commitments. Okay, but they are jealous. I'm telling you, I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Yeah. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken, uh, broken down by life? Our past hold us back from our future. Yeah, see, they just want to turn back the hands of time and restart. Kind of, you know, just have a redo. But no, at this at this point in time, you are ready for the real deal. You're not dating to play games, okay? You're dating to find the real deal. And if this person doesn't want to commit to that, then they're losing you to someone else who will. And no one in their right mind is going to turn down the Empress and the Minor Arcana. They'd have to be an absolute fruitcake to turn down the Empress in the Minor Arcana. And you understand? They'd have to be slow or something. Like, for real. You are the true treasure. You're like everything rolled up in a pretty little package. A sexy little package. Okay? So this person, they either need to go big or they need to go home. Uh, and as I say that, you feel like home. It's on the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. See, that's just it. They want simpler times. They want it to be simple. They, they just want to be together with you and not have to commit. Well, then they're going to have to let then they're going to have to let this go. You are their fantasy, though. And they have pictures of you and videos saved. And they use them for uh, inspiration. Yeah, this person, they're losing it. They're very passionate about you. They're very angry, very jealous. They, they can't control their jealousy, but yet they're too afraid to be dedicated to you. Okay? They're too afraid to be dedicated to you. So I feel like spirit already knows that. Spirit can see that about this person. So spirit now is bringing in new love. And you're going to have a lot of options to choose from. Okay? I feel like, though, this is the one you want to choose right here. This one here. Because this one here has learned lessons from the past. And they don't want to repeat those, those negative things. This person is, they've got their act together. They've got their life together. Um, and they're very well respected. I feel like this is the kind of person that you want to get with, okay? And I feel like this new one coming in is going to be, um, it's going to be your new love that's going to lead to a full-on commitment, okay? You're about to get a, an offer from someone that's going to take you to the Ten of Pentacles. That's a commitment. That's a commitment, and you're not going to settle for anything less than someone who's going to be loyal and dedicated to you and your connection. You know? And this person from your past, they couldn't get that. You know, they couldn't get that. They couldn't understand that. And, you know, well, you're not going to play any more games with people. So, you know, I feel like if they don't boss up, um, if they don't go big, they can go home. They, they can stay where they are. But they are trying to find out who it is that you're going to get with next so they can sabotage that connection. So be careful what you tell other people. Move in silence. Try to keep your moves hidden the best that you can. Okay? And just know you're going to go from single to snatched up and in a commitment a relationship, a good relationship, real fast, real soon. Okay? It's happening for you really soon. Whew, anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I hope this helps. Oh, let me call out signs. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Gemini. You could be a Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got heavy Gemini energy Heavy Cancer energy. 
and heavy Virgo energy. Okay. Anyway, um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.